I'm Keith Hoffman, executive producer of Finding Bigfoot. And I have to admit, when this series started, I was kind of a skeptic. But after several seasons of producing the show, I have to say there are some clips that have made me think that Bigfoots might exist. This footage was shot deep in the backwoods of Kentucky. And I really wanted you guys to check this out. You know, they call the Kentucky Eye Shine. And you can't really see the Bigfoot there. You can just see the eyes reflecting. This footage got around fast. Some people thought it was just headlights coming down a road, but there's no road there. Is it a human? If so, get out of there, guy. It's creepy. The team measured the eyes were eight or nine feet off the ground. So what is this thing? On this one, the team definitely disagrees. It's just amazing it's that high in the air. Because it's an owl on a branch. Where would the owl be sitting? I believe there's a branch that three years later is no longer there. It's far more probable and likely than a Sasquatch was standing that close to you and you couldn't see some mark of the face. So in other words, she's making an assumption that there was a branch there that isn't there, nor is there any indication that there would be a branch at the place where it would need to be. Oof. Matt, I can't come here based on the empirical evidence, rule out an owl. It's that simple for me. It's funny because I can come here and actually rule out it being an owl with the same empirical evidence because there's nowhere for the owl to be. Awkward. Matt makes a pretty compelling argument. And by the way, before he became a Bigfooter, this is a true fact, he studied law. All right, you know, I hate to choose sides, but I might be on Renee's team this time. It just doesn't make sense that this thing was just staring and they shot it and why didn't they shoot it finally walking away? But that's just my opinion. What do you think?